Good afternoon, my name is Jennifer Sims with Power & Telephone Supply Company. Hi, I'm Patrick O'Hare. I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations for Zenfi Networks, uh, station uh, located here in New York City. It's a real treat to be here with an international group and be able to look at things not just domestically, but from a global platform and be able to get the take on what do regulations look like for each one of us? How does the interoperability, what about the service providers and their vision, and how do they think it's gonna play out and what's kind of the first phase? And we heard Verizon say today that they have launched 5G. A few weeks back we heard AT&T make a similar claim and China, I know, is making similar claims, so it's exciting to see the progression and see how it's all going to turn out and meet some of the real movers and shakers within the 5G. So I think it's very interesting that we have, um, you know, folks from across the, uh, the country's perspective. So ZenFi is concentrated in the New York metro area, so we're in a very dense urban environment, but, you know, so far we've heard from TDS, um, which is a more rural environment and some of the challenges that they have. Uh, we heard from Lisa Ungers and some of the uh, breadth of experience that she has with the Fiber Broadband Association. So I think it's a very good microcosm of all the issues that everybody has. And um, it lets people see the, the perspective uh, that others have of this 5G deployment. So everybody's sharing different experiences. Um, you know, one of the things that comes up all the time is who is leading in the 5G deployment. But I think that all of us in our own unique ways can help each other with the lessons learned, catch up to either be the leader in 5G deployment in the U.S. or catch up to those who might be leading us. Mostly, you know, people think it's China, but, you know, what lessons can we learn from each other to kind of accelerate our growth both in the urban and, and rural environment?